Dark at Night on WHRD, The Herd, and hey, today is a day that has been talked about for six months or so now. AgroCorp has officially entered the UMRV marketplace and their farm store, the Old McGregor Farm Store, opens at 8 o'clock this morning and a lot of folks expressing their concerns for area farmers who've been bought out by this national corporation, AgroCorp. But the UMR seems to be changing. Give us a call if you have your thoughts. 7.30 on WHRD, The Herd. Good morning. Let's turn that off. I mean, what else is there really to say? The day has, you know, been kind of looming over this area for a long time, and now AgroCorp is officially a part of the UMRV. Uh, they have opened their farm store, or will be opening their farm store in about an hour here, and it's going to be really interesting to see who actually goes to the farm store. But hey, I'm just getting back from town. I got some donuts for the guys. I had to go down and grab some other stuff from town, so I am still on time a little bit. I guess I'm a half hour late. We're usually supposed to meet at 7, so I'm hoping that they're not even worried about that, but we'll see. Hopefully the donuts make for a better morning here, a better meeting here this morning, but... Let me stop in here to the house real quick. I'm going to get changed, and then we're ready to start farming. And now all closed up and all ready to go. I'm hoping the guys are still over there. I'm hoping that the donuts are going to make a little bit of a difference here. We're a half an hour late. And we've got some stuff to do today, guys. I know that we have a couple fields to have to get ready. I'm not sure if we're going to be doing that today or if Howie and Justin have something else planned for me, but... Either way, I'm ready to, you know, be a team player and do really whatever has got to get done here. As I said, AgroCorp is now in the UMRV, so there is added pressure now. That head start that we had is over. It was about a six-month head start. And we needed all of it to get to where we're at right now. But let's get inside and let's see what they've got planned for us today. Well, there's no one here. Well, where is everybody? Well, there's a note on the table. Let's pick this up and read it. Uh, good morning, herd. I went to get some stuff for the shop. Justin should be coming through with the cows in a little bit. Can you start the day by checking on our fields? Let me know what you think we'll need to get them going again. All right. Talk soon, Howie. All right. Well, that's news to me. Justin grabbing some cows. I'm really happy about that. I'm sure he probably found somebody to lease him a trailer because I can't imagine that he's going two and a half hours with six cows each. I'm sure he's got a good sized trailer. I don't know where he leased it from. Maybe the farm store up there. But either way, yes, we can go do that. Let's just get everything opened first because that seems to be our official job around here is getting the machine shed uh, open and everything like that. Howie should be up here soon, and I think Justin will be up here soon as well. Man, that, that door is loud. We'll get this last one open too, just as loud. And now we'll go take a look at these fields, and I'll be able to show you guys what we have in terms of fields. Uh, you know the one across the street because we've mowed that a couple, uh, couple episodes ago, and we got all that grass in that silo. So let's jump on this four-wheeler, and I'll show you around. Now, these first two fields over here, we have the one across the street that we did the mowing in. We have this field, and then we have the one to the right that we'll go into here in a second. But this field, I think, is going to be good. Only because I live here and I've been able to look out at this field a little bit. We'll drive around the, the perimeter a little bit just to show you how big this field is. And we're probably going to make this field grass. This is probably how we're going to feed our cows, make silage to sell to other farms uh, in other towns because there's not too many farms here that do cows anymore. AgroCorp has bought most of them out. But we're going to go to the other field over here and see. Hopefully there are no rocks because that would save us a lot of time. But this field right here that we're in now is going to be grass. This other field here, oh wow, needs to be picked up. I mean, these rocks are big, 
So we are going to have to pick them up. Yeah, and this is what Howie was afraid of. There would be a ton of rocks over here. And there is, but, you know, I would like to pick them up because maybe we can make lime out of them if we get enough rocks. Maybe we can take it uh, out of town, get some lime done for us, but I don't know. Either way, we're going to have to pick them up because it's going to affect the yield. And this over here is going to be where we're going to put our wheat for Kodiak Brewery. And I really hope that that deal goes well. It, it has to go well. Um, because that's the deal that I got for us, and I really would like it to go well, so I'm going to babysit it if I absolutely have to, but either way, let's stop here for a minute, let's get off, and let's call Howie real quick. Hi, you've reached Howard. I can't come to the phone right now. Leave your message, your number, and your name, and I'll give you a call back. Howie, it's heard. Uh, I'm out here in the field. Uh, the first one looked great. There were no signs of rocks. Everything looks on pace. The other one doesn't look so great. There are a lot of rocks out here, so we're going to have to grab them somehow. Uh, but yeah, just let me know how you want to proceed. But yeah, one field looks good. The other doesn't. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Well, it went right to voicemail, so I'm not really sure what we're going to do here i guess we're just going to wait on howie but either way there are a lot of rocks in this field i'm just thankful that the other field looked good and the field across the street looks good because that's going to save us a lot of time we only have to try to get this one ready and you know i think we will either way let's get this started back up we are going to head back up to the farm and see what other things we can get into but yeah, we need to get a stone picker because we need to get these fields all ready to go. Especially this one because we are going to want a high yield because we are putting wheat in the ground. The other one, not so much. And you ask, well, why don't you just put the grass over here? Well, because me and Justin live over there and rather have a huge yard than a huge wheat field to look at. So that's why. But either way, we are uh, going to head up to the farm and check the, the list and see what we have to do. Because honestly, without these two fields uh, needing anything, I'm not really sure. We don't have a cedar, so we can't plant grass yet. And Justin's back. And wow, he's got a big trailer attached there. Let's see what's up with him. And yeah, I see some calves out there. Well, look at that. Let's open this gate. Hopefully no one runs towards it. Close that up. And yeah, look at that. We have some calves. Uh, more than some. Let me not get in your way. Sorry. Alright. Let's try to find Justin here. He's got to be around here somewhere. It looks like these cows just got out of here. Because, I mean, we must have just missed him. We just headed out to the field, and we weren't there that long. Let's see if he's here. Oh, there he is. Hey, what's up, Justin? What do you think, Herd? Got some cows. The herd's got a herd. Indeed he does. Or, indeed I do. Uh, yeah. This looks great. How many cows do we have here? Herd, you're looking at 60 calves. We have got 60 Angus calves. And we're going to sell them all in November and make a ton of money. As you see, I've already fed them over here. So you don't have to do that. Everything should be lined up. The water is all good. So everything's good with these guys today. But obviously, you know, this will be your job every day from here on out. I feel very fortunate. Very fortunate. I'm very happy to take on that job. And yeah, the only thing I think we need is a trailer. Because we need to get that grass out of that silo and into that trough so they can, so they can eat it. Well, I'm a step ahead of you, Herd. I need two things from you today. One, I need you to go get a trailer in Prairie du Chien that we already ordered. And two, I need you to grab some straw from the farmer over in McGregor. I sent you there to get cows last year. Oh, yeah, I remember that place, Justin. Yeah, I'll... I'll okay, uh, what's the address on the uh, trailer? Well, that's easy, too, Herd. It's the place that you got the livestock trailer from last year. All right, simple enough. Uh, yeah, Justin, I can handle that. Let me just uh, go put the four-wheeler away, and then I will grab my truck and get that uh, all in motion. All right, thanks, Herd. Have a good one. 
Well, that's how quickly things change here on the farm. We have now got a whole day ahead of us. We've got to be the delivery driver today, which is fine because as I said when we first started here this morning, I'm a team player. I'm ready to do whatever we have to do to get this farm going. And right now that would require getting a trailer and we've also got to get some straw for these cows uh, just so they have some bedding. We don't have any bedding in the barn right yet, so we will do that. Um, we're going to go over and get the truck because what I think we're going to do first is we will get the bedding for the cows. That way they're all comfy and everything is good with them. want to make sure that they are all good to go. And then we can get on with life. Um, you know, we can grab a trailer for them. But Justin said he already fed them a little bit. We had some bags of feed in the barn uh, that we purchased at the farm store up in Iowa Plains. So we gave them that. But now they're not going to be so spoiled. They are going to have to grab some grass now. And that is mostly what they are going to eat. Because it is cheap for us to feed them uh, grass. And we got, let's be honest, more than enough. So let me back up over here to that yellow trailer there. Because what we're going to do is we're going to grab the straw first, as I said. So we'll put the straw bales on that trailer. Just back up to this trailer and hook up. And now we're all set up and we're ready to go and we know where we're going because we did a transportation job for Justin last year when he still owned the farm. We brought some cows down to the auction from this farmer and he didn't know it, neither did we at the time, but that would be his last that he had sent at that farm, Agricor Agricorp bought them out, let him keep the house, um, but just made a deal that he would not be able to farm the land for X amount of years. And now that is a defunct farm. It's really sad that there are so many farms closing around here, but that's why we have to stay up and that's why we have to stay open. And that's why trips like this matter because we're just getting more equipment so that we can get things done faster. We're going to need things done faster because we don't have a lot of people. Agrocorp has got a huge amount of employees, a big parking lot, a big building. <sighs> Either way, let's get down to this farm. Let's stop stressing about that. One thing at a time. One foot in front of the other. It's the only way to think about this because if you think about how big the hill is that we're trying to climb we might just turn around either way let's get up to the farm and i'll pick this up when we're closer Now over here at Circle Farms, or what used to be Circle Farms, as Agricorp has purchased the land and the outbuildings. So this farmer and this farm is done after 200 years. Obviously the farmer hasn't been here 200 years, but he did grow up his whole life on the farm. So he is going to continue living in the house, but Agricorp purchased the rest of it. Uh, let me put this down. And I will pick it back up when we are closer to done. And now we are on our last bale here. And we got a lot of bales here. Um, you know, we could have more, obviously, but it's a good start, especially since we're just using this for bedding. So it's not even a real big concern. But let's get this all strapped up and we will get on the road. All right, now pulling out of Circle Farms for probably the last time, you know, and it's, it's very sad. Agricorp is taking control of this farm, so 
we're likely not going to be invited back over and it's really sad because there's not too many independent farmers out here anymore and by independent I mean you know not owned by AgroCorp or working for AgroCorp and you know it actually reminds me Justin told me about one of his friends uh, he has a YouTube channel as well so I'll leave that in the description but his name's Infinity so go check him out uh, I'm just you know we always got to try to help out other small farmers in this area and you know when we're one of the only ones here in the area it's really not an easy job to take on a big corporation so always trying to help other people out uh, especially here in the UMRV especially farming so if you get a couple seconds go and check his channel out we are headed back up to the farm now because we are going to have to drop this straw off and what I'm thinking is we're just gonna drop the straw off by the barn uh, if Justin or Howie get a chance, maybe they'll throw it in there for us. But I'm trying to get down to Prairie du Chien, and I haven't said that in a really long time. But our old stomping grounds is where we are headed today, and it's for a trailer. And you know, we headed the exact same place as uh, Justin was saying. We have gone the exact same place to grab the livestock trailer. So if you are a longtime viewer of this series, then you will be familiar. But uh, it's a trip. Let's just say that. It's it's a little ways away. So I'm trying to get on the road quick. So what we're going to do is just drop these, or this trailer, should I say, with all of these straw bales on it. We are going to just drop this here on hook, and then we are heading down to Prairie du Chien. And hopefully, and probably not, but hopefully someone ends up helping us with these bells. But again, I'm not counting on it. Now, we are unhooked and look at our exit plan. We didn't have one. Let's see if we can fit through here. Yes, we can. Excellent news. That was a little nerve wracking there for a minute. But we are good and the truck is good. And now we are headed down to Prairie du Chien. And we are gonna grab that trailer that I talked about and I'm hoping that we can get down there in a good amount of time it's probably gonna take about 45 minutes to get down there 45 minutes to get back so it's a hike it really is it's all the way on the other side of town um, and actually out of town because we're in McGregor it's in the town over and on the other side of that town so either way we have got a drive ahead of us but I'm hoping that we can get back here in a good amount of time because we have still got a bunch of stuff to do up at the farm but let's get this drive done I'm going to turn this off and I will turn it back on when we get closer to where we are headed now very close to Manning transportation it's right over there on the right we are in Prairie du Chien in the heart of it and we are gonna get off the highway here And what we're going to have to do is go into Manning and talk to the guy, see where the trailer is, because I don't see it immediately, and I definitely don't just want to take anything. So let's park this up right here, and we will get in and talk to this guy. He should know who we are, Manning Transportation. He should know who we are because we bought a livestock trailer from him last year, or at least maybe remember who we are, but... Either way, I'm going to get in there, ask him about the trailer, see where it is. It's already paid for, so all we have to do is pick it up. And I will be right back. All right. Well, just talked with Mr. Manning. Nice guy. Told me that the trailer was right here in the back. And there it is. Already paid for. And he knew Justin's dad. He knew Howie. He's of that generation. Gave us a lot of credit for trying to stick up for the small guy. And, you know, not sell to AgroCorp. But I really hope everybody's not laughing at us in the background. Like, oh, these guys are crazy. They're, they're trying to take on a corporation but you know maybe we are maybe we are a little crazy uh, either way uh, get that there we go and that's all set and, oh hold on can we turn this off hello hey Herg you in Prairie du Chien yeah I'm down in Manning transportation right now I'm grabbing the trailer why what's going on all right well I know you don't know the area that well but do you know that maintenance road up by the farm Oh, yeah, yeah, the one we take uh, last year to go fishing. That's the one. Now, listen, when you get up here, everybody's fine, but we have something that we have to talk about. Just get up here as soon as you can. Oh, what's going on, Justin? Gotta run. 
Well, wait, hold on. All right. Well, I guess we are not meant to know right now. 45 minutes from now, that's perfect. But right now, I guess we're not meant to know. Either way, we are going to head back up to McGregor, Northern McGregor, up by the farm. I know where the maintenance road is that he's talking about. I have no idea why he's there, but um, hopefully we'll be able to stop there real quick and continue on with our day. But man, what a good score from Justin here as he picks up this trailer. We don't have to go to Iowa Plains, which is really good because that is a long ways away. That is a couple hours away. This is 45 minutes. I get that it's not right down the road, but at least it's a shorter drive. And, you know, with what everything is now with AgriCorp basically coming into the UMRV, it's basically this or Iowa Plains. There's a, you know, a couple farmers out here, as I mentioned earlier, but... There's not too many people here in the UMRV that uh, are farming, and it's tough. But either way, we're going to get up closer to the road. I'm going to put this down and drive through town, and I will pick it back up when we get closer to this maintenance road because I have no idea why we're driving there, but I guess we're going to find out sooner than later, right? Farming. It's always got something. All right, so doing that long drive, and I have no idea. I cannot even guess what Justin has got himself into here. But either way, uh, we are headed to the maintenance road for whatever reason. Maybe he knows somebody on the town that's going to help us. I have, I have no idea. But it should be right down here at the end of this road. It should be the maintenance road. I don't know if we're on the right side of it or not, but... Oh, I think I see there's a truck down there. That's Justin's truck. What's he doing down there? I don't see anybody else. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, I think we got something to talk about. 